Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of the Sari computer game. The development team included Alexis Fink, Jonathan Taylor, and myself, Dylan Sturgeon. We completed this project for CSSE 376 Software Quality Assurance at Rose Holman Institute of Technology during spring term of 2013. Sari supports three different languages, English, French, and Leet, one of which needs to be selected when the program starts. The language can be reselected from this menu, but this menu, the main menu, cannot be reached once a game is in session. For verification, Jonathan is starting the game in the three different languages. Notice how the buttons on the main menu are indeed in the correct language. The rest of the game also reflects this correct language. We will, we will proceed with the demonstration in English because it will be easier for us to demonstrate the game and discuss the mechanics. Notice the various options here. New game, load game, instructions, connect, host, exit, and select language. The interface is intuitive as these buttons likely do precisely what you expect. New game gives the user the option to create a fresh game of Sari and prompts for usernames. The game accepts two to four players and assigns them the color of the area their names were entered. It is possible to save a game in progress and resume it by loading. I will discuss the connect and host functionality shortly. Instructions provides a simple overview of the game instructions in the selected language. The first feature involves playing the actual game. The GUI displays a pre-drawn image of a game board which Alexis created, along with the current player, their color, their name, and their card. In the board game, players draw cards, which is simulated here by drawing a random card from a metaphorical deck for the player. Each card causes interesting interactions in the game, Therefore, the card's text, in the selected language, is displayed for the user's convenience. Each card and all accompanying rules are implemented. In order to interact with the game, the user needs to first click on the pawn which they wish to interact with, and then click on the desired location for the pawn to go. The game will then check with the game engine to ensure the validity of this move and if valid the move will be performed and if the user's turn is completed as a result of this move then the next player will be queued up to go. If the user won as a result of this move then they will be notified with a message saying you have won. When the user tries to perform an illegal move, the game notifies him or her with an appropriate message. The example message here is self-explanatory. The user selected the same position on the game board twice. Various other messages exist, including that move is illegal, there is no pawn on the first space you selected, and you appear to have clicked off of the board. The last message indicates that the user did not click on the visual game board. The other messages are self-explanatory. Once a game is in session, the save button allows a user to save that game session for later use. As a convenience to the users, exiting also auto-saves the game. The main menu has an option to load a saved game which will reopen the session. Users can only save one session at a time, so make sure you finish your game before you start a new one. Now that we have seen the game in action, 
Let's move on to the most interesting feature, networked gameplay. The game supports networked play through an HTTP server hosted by one of the players. Back in the main menu, notice the remaining buttons, connect and host. The host button allows a user to start hosting a game session and requests that user enter the names of the players to join. Next, the program will present the user with his or her IP address and port number. These numbers and the appropriate username need to be shared with the players to join the game. Joining players need to use the connect button, entering the host's IP address and port number along with his or her specific username. Now the game is ready to go and play with friends. All of the clients periodically poll the server to get up-to-date information, while each client sends the server any requests that users create, such as moving pawns or forfeiting a turn. Note that only the active player can affect the game state at any time. The interface to play the game is identical to the local version. Network play also supports two to four players. While networked, any player can save the game session and reload it as a local game or host it as a network game. That completes the demonstration of Sari's features. Thank you 